Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the extrude command in sheet metal. In the previous video, I have explained how to create a primary wall using the planar command. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create the primary wall using the extrude command. First, I'm going to delete this planar wall. And to activate the extrude, click on extrude from the command manager. I'm going to select the extrude and I'm going to select any plane and then click on sketch view and here I'm going to draw a rectangle and then give a check mark to it and now my feature gets generated and now you notice that my feature gets extruded along the edges of my rectangle the main difference between the extrude in the part modeling and in the sheet metal modeling is that in case of the part modeling if I just select the extrude my material will be added along the inside loop of my rectangle whereas in the sheet metal my material will be added along the outer edges with a thickness value like this. You can flip the direction of your thickness and also you can able to enter a suitable thickness value in the thickness dialog box. And also I have the other depth tops which are most similar to the part extrude. And if I go to the placement tab, my internal section is selected. And if I go to the options tab, I have the list of options. I have list of depth options. And coming to the bottom, I have an option called the add tapo, which is used to add tapperness to your extrude. And also you have a drag handle here to adjust the roughness to your extrude. And in the sheet metal options, I have an option called to add bends on the sharp edges. So this is my sharp edges. If I unselect this, my sharp edges will not undergo any bends. You can enter the thickness of your bend radius by providing some suitable value in the thickness box. And also you can flip the bend radius thickness whether you want inside or outside by selecting this. And if I go to the bend allowance option, I have two options whether to use part settings or feature settings. If I select the feature settings, I can enter a K factor value or a Y factor value. And also I can add bend tables. And in the properties tab, I can rename the name of my extrude and then give a check mark to it. And this is a video of the extrude command. In the more upcoming videos, I will explain the other sheet metal options in Creo.